uh, welcome back friends welcome to another video from shomus biology and uh, i have not made video regarding a uh, covid 19 or coronavirus since a long time i have made plenty of videos almost 29 30 videos earlier and then i deleted all of them because i found uh, the whole internet is crowded with the videos and it's not required at that time so i deleted them after some time so today i'm going to talk about uh, a little bit related to covid 19 and the present situation and particularly what we want to talk here today about is about this thermal gun okay the thermal gun which is used for screening which is being used for screening in almost everywhere you know in mall entrances in restaurant entrances hotel entrances uh, airport entrances uh, and many more almost every single place you can see this thermal gun they are going to check your uh, body temperature with it so to me this whole idea is just a big nonsense that's what i'm going to tell you why this is a big nonsense and why we should not only focus on the thermal gun in the process of screening people you know quote unquote screening people uh, for the idea of that person is having a covid-19 or not the thing is this is a thermal gun right thermal gun means it's a modified version of the thermometer that we use okay a normal thermometer there can be two types of thermometer one is the analog one which utilizes uh, the uh, metal which is liquid metal mercury generally is placed the temperature thermometer old one and the new one is digital thermometer now <clears throat> this is advanced version because we are going through a non contact based uh, procedure so where people will not touch each other that's why we have this thermal gun so that without touching ourselves we can simply check uh, the body temperature of someone uh, from 1 foot to 3 feet distance so why i said this whole process is a uh, is a nonsense the th the reason behind it is that first of all this kind of gun the thermal guns always are being used as a industrial thermal thermal gun okay so the policy the approach that they are actually working with is uh, utilizing the infrared technology In infrared technology it's a, it actually finds out the emission it it does not actually give us the exact body temperature but but the emission that our body is doing as an in infrared wave that's the wave that they are going to catch okay so that's why they are they are being used for industrial purposes okay to understand the temperature of industrial broilers and other things it's good to scan surfaces hot surfaces or cold surfaces in industrial purpose in production houses and all but nowadays we are using this for taking temperature of human body now there are medical standard thermal imaging guns thermal guns that uh, guns that are present but in most of the places in most of the places in past few uh, weeks i have been visiting like two three different places malls and all this place i have found they are using Uh, more or less the similar kind of industrial thermal gun to check the human body temperature and this is hugely misleading the reason behind it is that this kind of industrial standard thermal gun is way i mean uh, the the degree of error for them in operation is plus minus 5 6 degree fahrenheit so think about it normally our uh, human body temperature should be 98.4 degree fahrenheit right so nowadays it's little less as well 97 uh, degree fahrenheit is also considered normal but this uh, industrial standard thermal gun they are off by plus minus 5 degree fahrenheit and some uh, of them are even plus minus 7 degree fahrenheit so think about it so a gun can give you a report of 92 degree fahrenheit as a temperature of a person which is not at all true or it can give you uh, 104 degree fahrenheit when a person has a normal body temperature of 98 degree fahrenheit so they are far off by plus minus 5 degree fahrenheit which is definitely not at all a good idea of utilizing this industry standard thermal gun to screen people and find out their body temperature this is one thing the second thing is that even though there are medical standard human medical standard imaging thermal uh, guns are available but they are of high cost normally they cost 12000 uh, above that so not everyone is afford can afford it not every hotels and restaurants can afford it so whatever they are buying is a cheap product and this is going to give me an override i am not saying that whether it's cheap or or good it also uh, almost 5000 rupees thing but i still believe this is not uh, an original human uh, body temperature thermal gun this is kind of a standard industrial thermal gun so i am going to 
prove why this should be uh, not done why we should not use thermal gun for screening like many people are saying i've seen the video today in youtube that the reason i'm making the video is that there are multiple videos showing that thermal gun can damage your pineal gland this is not true not at all true because the pineal glands location is very protective okay it's very protective and it's present in far back of our our, our head and skull skull so definitely it's not uh, a problem with that but the problem is a false positive and false negative result that this can give you i'll give you a demonstration for example right now i have a normal body temperature and i can check it here like this okay okay so hopefully you can see the reading uh, what reading you can see 35 36.5 sorry yeah 36 0.5 okay i believe you can see the uh, report 36.5 so normally a human body temperature in degree celsius this is sex in degree celsius so it is 37 degree celsius is considered as a physical body temperature and as i said that nowadays people have lesser than that as well so 36.5 37 is kind of normal body temperature so if somebody scan me right now he will find 36.5 36.6 so you can see the similar temperature so I, i'll be giving the normal certificate so i can go and enter any place okay they will not consider me having any disease or any covid 19 right now now why this gun is misleading the reason behind it is that i can easily cheat someone and prove that i have high fever how can I do that this is a room heater that i have here okay this is a room heater okay this is the room heater i have this room heater and i'm going to turn on this room heater for some time and put my uh, face near this room heater and as as i put my face near this room heater it's going to increase the temperature outside now remember the thermometer supposed to increase uh, not increase or decrease and show not increase in decrease in body temperature based on the upper temperature based on the core body temperature okay so normally what happens when we are playing in in the top sun we are our skins are always burning like we are getting the heat if you are sitting or lying down in the beach your body is also being heated up that does not mean you have fever right so fever means when your internal core body temperature increases that's when fever comes in but we can fool this kind of thermometer this kind of thermal gun by simply doing this you know if i put my uh, face very close and face is burning right now in, in front of it and now i'm going to show you what it is showing you can see it's red 37.7 and now it's no longer green it's red 37.7 so 37.7 means yellow yellow means you are in danger zone that means your body temperature is more than 37 degrees celsius temperature so let's say i do this now turn it off and again let me test it see 37.6 one degree celsius temperature increased and if i now try to go and take entry people will stop me and they will say no you cannot enter because your body temperature is more than 37 which is above our guidelines so they will keep kick me out even though i don't have any fever but still they will kick me out because thermal gun so <clears throat> this is something which is called as a false positive although i don't have a higher temperature in my body just simply in front of this table fan uh, this heater turns the upper temperature of my screen up right but when i measure it with a proper thermometer whether it can be mercury based thermometer or a digital thermometer under my armpit it's always going to give me a correct data so never ever get fooled by this piece of junk okay now second thing let's say <clears throat> this is one thing this is not bad now you may ask me why would somebody try to increase their body temperature because it's bad right if somebody increases the body temperature people will assume that that person has a fever and it will not allow them to enter so that's not a problem but what is a problem is that if somebody has really if somebody really has fever the person can deceit again with this thermometer how the other way a person let's say have fever and the person will take a medicine of fever okay the person has fever a little bit mild symptomatic for example for this purpose and right now if somebody says that i have fever and cough and all these things and everybody will like people will always look at that person like that person has committed a serious crime this is what happened right now 
although this is a season change thing and most of the people has a common flu and that's also normal but still this thermal gun will de- uh, again block those people who has normal uh, fever with flu and prevent them to take entry into vital places like their airports or mall and other places so particularly in airports it can be really troublesome let's say on the day of your journey you may have some sort of fever or may have some uh, heated up body element you know due to some reason and you will be blocked and they will check your like they they will uh, take you to the health uh, officials they will check your temperature and and also check every vital signs and they will also test covid and they will cancel your flight so this is not good okay and sometimes if somebody has fever and if that person takes medicine immediately to get it down and reduce it then again they will check and they will find completely normal 36.6 body temperature so you can clearly see that within 30 seconds i can increase my body temperature 1 degree celsius the same way by taking medicines i can decrease my body temperature or, or again putting water or something cold water and something on my forehead as well as on uh, in my arms i can also mostly they che- they are checking the foreheads right so i can reduce the body temperature even though i have a high body temperature if i put the ice block and all these things immediately the body temperature will be shown less by this because again why it is failing because it is industry standard it's not measuring the actual core body temperature it only uh, measures the emittance of heat from the body that is why i call this a piece of junk and it's not at all advisable to use this kind of you know, thermal gun for screening because people with real disease may escape and people without the real disease may get caught and victimized for the disease okay so that's why it gives a false positive it can also give you a false negative at times so that's why i called not to use this use proper thermometer that is either the mercury thermometer or the digital thermometer whatever you can use because i can prove you that in mercury and metal thermometer as well as in case of a digital thermometer of a branded good company they will always give you uh, the insight of a core body temperature and not any other place so if we are using this if you want to use this then definitely this should not only be uh the thing that we should use we should always use other things for example instant kits which is not available in india but widely used in us and other places even though they are 60 70% accurate i think it's a good idea to use that kit along with the temperature gun and all these things to tally two three things together to finally find out whether a person is symptomatic or not whether a person carries a fever or not and second thing if a person is feverish or having some sort of fever that does not necessarily mean that person has covid right <clears throat> there are diseases almost 90 above 90% of the diseases are linked with fever fever is a big symptom of almost all diseases so when somebody has fever runny nose or uh, any kind of you know uh, sneeze or any of these things it can be any kind of disease it's just not covid 19 always so it's my request to all of you if you are watching this video from any of these places should not always rely on this because this can easily be deceptive okay so that's all about today i believe it gives you a clear idea about my statement that why i said this is a piece of junk and this should not be used for the purpose of understanding whether a person is feverish or not okay so that's all about today hope you like this video if you like this video please share this with your friends and colleagues so that they get to know about this fact and please like this video if you like it dislike if you don't like it i also appreciate that and put your comments okay put uh, things in the comment so that uh, i understand about what do you think about this idea thank you bye